right, so we're at Epcot for the Festival of the Holidays. This is the beautiful tree that's right by the lake. So hopefully we're going to see some characters. It's a beautiful tree. Yeah, it is. Huge. <laughs> We're gonna head over to Norway, hopefully to see their uh, Santa. Yeah. Well, it probably has to reset first. <laughs> a few decorations up on the uh, La Cantina. I think we're going to see a lot more when we go to Hollywood Studios. Oh, no. A few more lights. All right, so we're stopping at Bavaria to get the uh, cheese fondue bread bowl. The music is really nice. All right, so here's our cheese fondue bread bowl. And our lighting isn't great. I'm going to start bringing a, a light with us from now on, but. <laughs> is that good, huh? It's a little... Texture. It's different. Okay. It could be better. <laughs> okay. All right, so I'm gonna give it a try. Let's go the bread here. Oh yeah. Look how gooey that is. The cheese lava. Oh, that is good. It's a little salty. Still good though. And we're gonna make it healthy, so we're gonna carrot it with it. And cheese saved the carrot. Yes, cheese makes carrots better. <laughs> That's a, that's a nice snack. We've already eaten dinner, so we don't need a whole lot, but that's a good snack. So we're gonna finish this up, and uh, we'll see what's next. All right, so here's the uh, Germany Pavilion all dressed up for Christmas. And you know, this just feels like Christmas. It should be Christmas in Germany all the time. That is so cool. All right, you want that? <laughs> All right, inside the uh, Germany Pavilion. Oh, and the crow for the clock was just uh, cawing, and he just went away. Just barely missed that one. Yeah, this is just. It's Christmas. <laughs> it should be Christmas all the time in Germany. And they've got some nice little window displays over there. There's Olaf. We've got to do the display off the side of that. So. All right, let's go find Amy and uh, possibly do some shopping, or at least looking. Well, Amy wasn't really into the cheese and bread site, most of it. But, uh... We're coming over to the Germany sweet shop to see what they have. Okay. 
And obviously they've got popcorn. Lots of lots of popcorn. <laughs> so we'll uh, see what's in the uh, case up here in a minute. All right. So looking for desserts, they've got all kinds of good stuff. We decided to go with a s'more. Uh, the cluster looks really good too. We've got a couple different apples. Oh, those cookies look pretty good too. Mm. Okay, next time. Well, as promised, we're going shopping. Got some little gingerbread cottages. Those are cute. Amy really likes that one. We may end up getting that one. We'll see. They're about $30 a piece, I think, so. Yeah, they're about $30 a piece, so. A little pricey, but they're cute. <laughs> I don't know what it has to do with Christmas, but he's so darn cute. Uh -huh. Who cares? Just like a little pig with Christmas scarf and hat. So cute. <laughs> and their glass. Oh. Little gnome on a mushroom. Oh, so that. I, I think we need that one. No, no. Oh, and um, let's see. Some prices. Yeah, they are. $17.99. $17.99. That gnome is really cute though. $19.99. This big old train is $27.99. Wow. And then we got Minnie and Mickey in their German attire, but not Christmas. Wow, so sparkly. This is so cute. Look at the little Pluto down here. Aww. That is a cute shirt. Hey, and it's finally winter, so you can wear a t shirt without dying. <laughs> So they have mostly the same normal stuff they have throughout the year, but they've got some decorations up. Not sure if they move or not with the temperature. I'm guessing so. One forty-five. Like this one looks like it has the part of the Berlin Wall. Like has a rock on it. Mm -hmm. Part of the Berlin Wall. Yeah. That's cool. So meeting all of your Stein needs. That's so cute. <laughs> Uh-huh. I thought they had the boots in here. The boot cups? Oh, okay. Just kind of wandering our way through the Germany shops. Again, Germany just looks like it needs to be decorated for Christmas all year long. Chocolate pumpkin spice. Oh, that's cool looking. It's Pinot Noir. Huh. <laughs> cool looking bottle though. decorations. Those are cute. $44.99. Are they identical? No. Those are cute. Though. Okay. Alright, so now we're in the crystal shop.
Those are neat. Rose is only nine bucks. Only nineteen fifty? Seriously? Yeah. Really that bottle is nineteen fifty? I mean, here, you look at it and tell me. Yeah. That's beautiful. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's just the top. I don't know. All the Christmas decorations. All right, we're gonna finish up shopping and then uh, we'll, we'll get our dessert. We're gonna make a true mess of this. So that's a s'mores cookie. Mm -hmm. Got caramel, graham cracker, chocolate. You got any marshmallow yet? No, I had to cut off the corner. Oh. <laughs> that chocolate is thick. <laughs> That's good. I think it was just under $6 before our discount. So, not, not a price, bad price for a treat they make in-house. That's really good. Okay, my turn. Okay. Got it started for me, so I'm going to go right into the good stuff. Mm-hmm. Good view of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's an absolute slab of uh, caramel in there. No, I'm having trouble opening my mouth now. <laughs> crumble, crumble, mm -hmm. crumble. Okay. Awesome. That was really good. On her way out here right now, she can't see me, so she doesn't think I exist. Say. If you'll allow me to use a little magic and mischief to help Seagree with her story, well, who knows? Maybe this year, <laughs> she just might believe. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Look at you. You're like, where is she? Where is she? Hi, everybody. Hello. Good evening. Look at all these beautiful faces. Hello. Who are you, everyone? Who are you? Yes. Oh, my gosh. Yes, this will be a goo Look at all these beautiful holiday decorations and stuffed toys. How oh, nice. Well, good evening, everyone. Hello, my name is Sigri, and I am the holiday ambassador for the Norway Pavilion. Woohoo! Yes, and I'm so excited tonight to tell you all about Christmases in Norway. In fact, woo, here's a little bit of a Christmas carol sung by children of all ages called Musavisa or the Mouse Song. Did you hear that? It was a bird in the exact key of my song. Ah, oh, Epcot. <laughs> when nights are getting longer and lakes will freeze to ice, the mother mouse runs strongly about a foul device. You must avoid the mouse trap, but there is not to fear. We'll all be celebrating at Christmas time this year. Hi, son, a hope, son, a foul around the ra. Oh, Mulek, Veld, and Daskarari, Sam, and Jerry, la. Hi, son, a hope, son, a foul around the ra. Oh, Mulek, Veld, and Daskarari, Sam, and Jerry, la. Sam is good for me and you. Hi, son, a hope, son, a foul around the ra. Oh, Mulek, Veld, and Daskarari, Sam, and Jerry, la. Who are you, everyone? That was now, all across Norway, the holidays are family time. But just how we celebrate the holidays depends on whether we come from a big fancy, fancy city or like me or one of our wonderful Norwegian farms. Now, in the city, families celebrate by going to concerts or festivals, church services, or parties. And 
like many of you, they are visited by Santa Claus. But on our farms, many families, like mine, still celebrate the tradition of the Christmas Lisa, which is like a Christmas gnome. Now there are two. There's Yule Nessen, who visits our children on Christmas Eve to bring them gifts. And there is also Fuse Nissen, who lives in the haylofts of our barns. Now it is said that this Nisa, or barn Santa, is one of many wonderful, yet strange, little elves who are, uh, oh, the guardians of our farm animals, hello, and our welfare. And many families believe that he looks just like this silly little stuffed toy. <laughs> and it is said, especially at Christmas time, that families should treat this Nisa with respect. Or if they don't, whew, he has been known to cause a bit of mischief in one way or another. But, in all of my Christmases, as I have lived on a farm my entire life, I have never seen him. Not even when I was little. Not even when my friends could see him. Not even my friend Marta. Oh, she was so excited. Sigri! Sigri! I saw him! I saw the barn Santa! Last night I snuck out to the barn while the porridge was still hot. I hid behind the bale of hay. Oh! And I saw him. I saw the barn Santa! Marta, I know that he doesn't exist. You don't have to lie. It's okay. But, Sigurd, I saw him. I saw him. Don't you see him too? But I did not see anything. So, all this talk about barn Santa is neither here nor there. For we all know these mischief makers do not exist, except in stories or fairy tales. Hmm? Toodalalaloo! Did you feel that? No, you so silly. No, he's not. Did you all feel that? Now, where were you? did, me too. Now, what was I saying? Ah, yes, he does not exist. Unless they do exist and are therefore very clever and mischievous indeed. <laughs> now, um, it is said that the barn Santa is a very old and very odd looking little gnome, huh? <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, sir. Did you just say something? No? Oh, my apologies. Huh. Well, then. Christmas. Uh, in Norway. Uh, in Norway is uh, my favorite time of year. Yes. There are festive decorations uh, like those. Over there. <laughs> and, uh, oh, uh, oh, 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 the smell, yes. The smell, the smell of holiday cookies fills the air. <laughs> but here's the best part. <laughs> In Norway, we have a three day celebration. That's right. We like to celebrate with a party. We like to party. We like to party. We like to toodle out a loop. <laughs> yes, uh, in Norway, we like to uh, so celebrate <laughs> on uh, uh, Christmas Eve. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so, uh, in the middle of the day, about uh, 12 o'clock or so, everything closes up early. Oh, and the bells ring in the chapel, and everyone goes home to spend time with their families on Christmas Eve. Now, in the evening, it's lights out and shh. Huh. <laughs> yes, as the entire house is illuminated with only the soft glow of candlelight. And after a big feast, oh, everyone is excited, especially the children, because they know that the Christmas tree is in the next room. Now, the adults all decorated and the children are not allowed to see until... Mama! Uh, Mama, is the tree ready yet? <sighs> yes, Tigri, the tree is ready. Do you want to see? Yes, Mama. <gasps> oh, Mama, it is so beautiful. Good So. The rest of the evening is spent opening up Christmas presents and singing Christmas carols around the Christmas tree until very late at night. But the children do not forget about the barn Santa on Christmas Eve, no? Now they leave him treats too! Toodaladaloo! Oh ho 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 ho
Oh yes, yes. They leave me treats too. And in exchange, I look after their crops each year. Yes. They, uh, <laughs> they bring me a great big bowl of rice porridge. Yes, yes. with sugar and, and cinnamon and a little pat of butter right on top. I know, it doesn't sound like much of a treat to you, but believe me, when the kitties leave me a steaming hot bowl of porridge in the hayloft, well, it warms me up on a cold winter's night. High in fiber, too. To the that no. <laughs> Now, uh, now, I'm going to need everybody's help. Now, on the count of three, I want you all to yell out your best guess of what you think the children leave for the barn set on Christmas Eve. Now, you're never going to get it right, but let me hear your guess in three, two, one. Boring, boring. Yes, well, excuse me, details. Okay, well done. Yes, we, whoa, and yes, well done, everyone. I am impressed with every single one of you. Yes, we do leave him a bowl of rice porridge with cinnamon sugar and some butter on top. But you know what else, huh? Adults, sometimes we leave him a stein of ale. Oh, I knew you would like that. Now, wait a minute. How did you all know that, huh? Did you read it in a book? Yeah. You guessed? You read it in a book? Yes. Said Barn Santa told you? Did he tell all of you? Yeah. Oh, now I told you all, he does not exist just like I told my friend Marta. He absolutely does. It's you. It's me. It's him. I'm him. It's the Barn Santa. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, have you always been here? I've been here the whole time, Seager. On Christmas Eve when we opened our gifts. I was there. And the morning when we all got up early? I was there too, <gasps> all day long. And all the days after that, when you went to parties, visited with friends, I was there for all of it. So, Marta was right. And now I can see you too. Thanks to all of you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for your help. <laughs> you sneeze in. I've always wanted to believe in you. Can I have a hug? Yes! Gooyul! Yeah. Oh. Oh. Gooyul, indeed! <laughs> now that's more like it! Well, kiddies, it looks like we made a believer out of the lovely Seagree after all. And with that, I hereby dub all of you honorary Christmas magic makers <gasps> for the rest of the night. Give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> Well, I guess I should be getting back to the hayloft, you know. Woo, get ready for the big day. Yes. Oh. But remember, kitties, friends, uphold the values of Christmas. Be kind. Spread joy and cheer. Be good to your barn Santa <laughs> throughout the new year. <laughs> go go you! Merry Christmas! Thank you for coming. <laughs> All right, well, that was unexpected. Um, another cast member has told us that they uh, weren't going to be doing it late at night, which the schedule said 710. There we go. So we were uh, pleasantly surprised by that. And then a, uh, another bonus is that we get to go on Cosmic Rewind because at what, 6.30, something like that, we were able to get a... Uh, Okay, so we were able to get passes, so you'll, you'll see that here in just a moment. So we're headed up there right now because our time is coming up on us. All right, so now we're headed into the Odyssey building. And it's about 7.25 and we saw Santa going backstage, so that, that, I guess that's about the end of his schedule, 7.25. 7.30, something like that. They have some beers, hot cocoa. Red velvet bundt cake, salted caramel. So yeah, it looks like a lot of sweets and drinks. And then there's no Santa in here right now, but yeah, there's Santa's sleigh. It's nice and wide, so that way you can get Santa and. A whole family up there. So you'll have to catch that sometime in the future. Let's go find Amy. There she is. 
That actually is really cool. Yeah, I like the animated snow. That's cute. Mm -hmm. All right, Amy, what are you getting ready to ride? All right, so this is the first time we've ridden test track since we've been here. So we'll see how this goes. Yeah, and uh, we have some family that was asking about it, and usually the line is really bad. It's only 35 minutes, so... Yeah, it's only 35 minutes, so... Let's so, that, that's not bad. And again, the temperature tonight is just beautiful. The crowds aren't too bad. So, we, we get a bonus ride in here. Yeah, I don't think we've ridden this since it had test dummies in it. Um, I don't think so. Yeah. And I know we haven't since we moved down here. It's really loud. Yeah. Well, and like uh, Dad can't ride it, so usually we're like, yeah, we can skip it, it's fine. Yeah. But uh, Sarah, my sister, was asking about it. It's like, well, we haven't really ridden it, so Sarah, this ride is specifically for you. <laughs> so, see all of it. So, you know, the queue is actually new to us. Saw so this was like, oh yeah, I, I want to ride in that one. So they've got the power. They've got an off-road. They call capability. Uh, there's another one up ahead. I'll, I'm not sure what that is. And then another one after that, which looks like a little bitty, very efficient vehicle. But uh, there you can see a vehicle that's kind of taken apart into its pieces. And this looks a lot like some concept design I've seen where that uh, shareable vehicles basically stack in almost like they were sh uh, shopping carts. So that's probably what this is. But yeah, it's just tiny, tiny little thing for two people and uh, some of their stuff. And sorry, it's... You ready? <laughs> All right, here we go. We'll begin with the capability test to see how your vehicle designs perform under challenging weather and service conditions. Monitoring road surface.
really good. A lot better than I remember. Displaying power. Oh, is your hair fixed now? Driving station here. Huh. Okay, gotta catch up to Amy. Those are the new Chevy vehicles in here. That's cool. Or you can have a remote. You have a remote? Very cool. Oh, yeah, nice retro shirt. It's all the old symbols. Uh huh. It's more retro type. The Guardians of the Galaxy Q. For no These instruments balance together. These are the key values. Still in line, but uh, it's not bad. <laughs> Greetings, Terrans. I am Nova Prime Irani Rayal, Commander of the Nova Corps. On behalf of all Xandarians, I hope you have enjoyed exploring the wonders of Xandar. As you have seen, your world and ours were born of the same moment, one which you refer to as the Big Bang. As such, we are all galactic neighbors in a vast universe which we and countless others share. For you to travel to Xandar would take two and a half million years, assuming you had a ship that could fly at the speed of light. So we decided to come to you. But even we could not have reached you so easily were it not for the Cosmic Generator, an advanced piece of Xandarian technology that creates jump points, artificial tunnels that act as shortcuts linking distant points in space. It is our desire to share this wondrous technology with your people so that together we might explore new worlds and create a brighter tomorrow. And now, as the culmination of the wonders of Xandar, you will be teleported to a Nova ship above your planet for a demonstration of the Cosmic Generator. I trust you will find it an unforgettable experience. Welcome, people of Epcot. Epcotters. Epcotians. Citizens of Epcot. Does anyone know what they call themselves? People. What? I'm on. Someone needs to tell me what I'm on. You're on. Welcome. Epcot Terrans. I am Centurion Tau Merrick, and we're just about ready to teleport you up to the ship for the demonstration. As you're about to enter a secure Nova area, I must ask you to put away your Terran communication devices at this time. Recording of any type is strictly prohibited. I am very serious about this. Now, please step forward into the chamber. You're gonna love this. Okay, 
Before we begin, I should warn you that we have never teleported Terrans before. But since your molecular structure is very similar to Zandarians, it should work. It'll work. So long as you are standing inside the lighted ring, you do not want to know what happened last time someone did not stand where I told them to, okay? Stand by for teleportation. moving a lot faster than usual. It's nice. Okay, head for the jump point. This plan is never going to work. Rocket! Well? Okay, I've walked onto your vehicle. We'll be right behind you. Nothing to worry about. Unless we cannot stop this unusual large man. Then you're likely doomed. Rex! Come on! You get a need. Alright, here we go. You're all heroes. Do you really think 
they deserve to be called heroes. Do you see how they dress? <laughs> it's just a thing with speech All right, well, Amy got her Joffrey's copy. She, she's good to go for another 12 hours, right? Oh, that's good. Oh, is it? It's Y'all taste. Sweet and it has cinnamon. Oh, that is good. It's a nice cinnamon Yeah. So that's the holiday beverage. It's a Hortata cold brew. Ah, there we go. Check out a picture of that, so I'll insert that here. All right, well, that was our night at Epcot. Um, got some treats, got some snacks. Um, went on a couple rides that I didn't think that was going to happen. Um, Christmas lights, Christmas music. And lots of fun. Yeah. If you uh, like this, please uh, hit that like button, subscribe. And uh, we always like to hear from you, so leave a comment. Yeah, and we also met, again, some really nice people here. Um, almost every time we're in line, we run into some really nice people. And, uh, yeah, we, we enjoy talking with them, uh, finding out what we're going to call that tonight. And we'll see you all next time, probably from Hollywood Studios. So that, that's coming. Good night, everybody.